Good morning guys. Can't talk too loudly. It's half past four in the morning and we're going to Brighton for the Brighton Half Marathon. So I've just been downstairs, got my breakfast. So you know what I like to have? I like to have my chia seeds and my wheat bix and my cheat bix. Um had my beet uh, beetroot shot. Um and then I've just started the electrolytes so i've got sos coconut in here um not sis sos um so if you guys want to try some of them give it a go um not sponsored or anything i don't have any partnership with them just if you fancy giving it a go um yeah really excited couldn't really see it last night i was too excited um didn't do any rolling last night because i don't like to roll the next day the day before but i did use some pure sport muscle balm just Gave my legs a little bit of a massage um, and just applied a little bit of that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go and meet Mr. DC, Donald Carter, be up. Um, and he's going to be taking me down there to save me the, the two hour drive right before my race. So thank you, Donald. Really appreciate that. Um, find me a coach that will do the same. I'll wait. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to get ready now. Got to leave in about 15, 20 minutes. And I'll catch you at some point on the journey. Hopefully we'll be able to vlog the whole day of it. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Catch you in a bit. Guys, <laughs> just going to take you through um, my race kit quickly. Um, I know you guys sort of like that. So, got the Nike racing socks. Uh, that's literally what they're called if you want to buy a pair they're nothing special um i just like all my kit to be matching as much as possible and they're nice and white and they're a, a nice length as well but apart from that they're nothing like comfort wise special obviously the salomon hat i always wear this on race day i've got the nike aero swift split shorts um the nike black arm warmers and then the, the best bit of all We've got the Ben Parks saw singlet with my number on it, number nine. So super excited to give this a try. I haven't worn it yet. Um, and I know my general rule is to never try anything new on race day. But I think with a vest that is as light and as nice and top quality as that, it's not really a risk. So, yeah. Guys, what am I doing? It's freezing outside. It's pitch black. Oh...
guys, finished. What a crap day. Not a great run, awful wind. You can probably hear it on the camera to be fair. But yeah, close to a PB in awful conditions and legs feeling crap. Uh, week of illness. So, no excuses. Head up onto the next one. But, shows that what we're doing is working. Close to a PB in awful conditions and not feeling 100%. So, I know I've got at least two, three minutes quicker. So, We are back it's been a long day got up at half four and it's now almost four o'clock so um i've just finished sh like showering um started the recovery process had pizza started the electrolytes couldn't finish the pizza it was way too much um but yeah today was one of those days unfortunately um i'm not i'm not sad i'm not um sulking or anything like that today was um was a good day in many aspects i've learned a lot about myself um, learned a lot about my body uh, when it comes to illness, lack of sleep this week, um, and how I deal with that in races. Um, and in hindsight, maybe shouldn't have raced today. Maybe should have just said, um, we'll call it a day and, and race another day. But I decided to go with it and it ended up not being the right decision. So, yeah, definitely not, definitely not sulking, definitely not upset. I've learned a lot, lot today, which is which is the great thing. So I now know how I respond in these sort of situations. So my finishing time was one hour, 11 minutes and 34 seconds. A time that if I'd done that four months ago, I would have been over the moon with. But doing that now, I know I could have ran quicker. The conditions were poor, really poor. Um, headwind for half of it. Um, the first three k's uphill which wasn't fun into the wind as well um but yeah so got there really really easily the journey was really easy um which was which was great i wanted like a stress-free journey but it's these little micro stresses um before the race that just kind of you know start to get on your back a little bit so things like the wind and it being so crowded on these small paths like trying to get back to the start pen after warming up and stuff. Oh, it's just, it's carnage. Um, so trying to warm up in the wind wasn't fun. I was getting freezing. Um, everything's blowing everywhere. Trying to change without getting cold. Um, yeah, it was just wasn't wasn't great a great day in, in that respect. Um, and yeah, this is, this is one of the things I've learned. You've got to go into every race with an open mind be content with whatever happens really because as soon as you start putting numbers and places on your run the moment that that like is kind of starting to slip away from you that's it it all crumbles everything the foundations go and it all falls apart so i went into the race hoping for like a top three finish or a massive pb i didn't hit any of my a b or c goals um didn't even pb um and i didn't get anywhere near the place i wanted either but yeah, it's was, it was one of those races. Um, so I try not to talk about it for too long because it can get a little bit, a little bit moaning. But we'll we'll get into how the race planned out. So um, on the start line, um, the, as I said, the first three k were were uphill. So normally in a race with that sort of caliber runners, you get a couple going off. Um, not many packs at all. It's normally quite strong out. But the first three k, there was thirty guys, all blocked together. No one wanted to take it on. No one wanted to do the work at the front. Um, so everyone was just kind of like slowly like shuffling behind each other to try and like let them take the win. So I think we went through the first 3k 15 seconds slower, 20 seconds slower than I wanted to. Um, so already like in your head, you're like, okay, maybe time's starting to go out the window a bit. Um, and the fact it's uphill as well, you're not really sure about your effort levels. 
having heels at the start of a race are tough because you haven't given your body any chance to kind of um, get into the race. Um, but yeah, so after about 3k, uh, 3.5k or whatever it was, I um, got to the top of the hill and that's when like four or five guys just completely put the hammer down, um, started dropping like sub 3k's um, on the way down the hill and that was just too quick for me to handle. Um, even though I did that pace like back in my 5k, couple weeks ago I just didn't have it today I don't know if it's the illness um or well just lack of preparation for this uh, for this race I guess and having like a rough week um but yeah and then after 5k um, my legs were just shot I just didn't really have anything so I just tried to hold on for as long as possible um and ended up running most of it alone kind of from that point onwards a couple of guys got quite ahead, far ahead of me but then I started to feel a bit better after like 12 13k um until about 16, 17k, felt, like, felt good. And I started reading the time back in and started reading these guys back in. Um, so I was ninth for pretty much the whole whole race, um, bar the, the 3k at the front. And then um, I just managed to out kick a guy in the last kilometre to take eighth place. Um, but I was miles behind seventh. Couldn't even see them. So yeah, it was just one of those days. Um, but as I said, no, no excuses, but I had a crap, crap week leading up to it. Um, you can probably hear from my nose, like, I can, <laughs> I can barely breathe through it. Um, I'm, a, I'm like, coming out of the cold, so I should be fine in a couple of days. Um, but even if I was absolutely fine today, I think just the preparation leading up to this, like, you know, this race just not been great. Had an amazing session on Monday, and if you'd asked me on Monday how the race was going to go, I would have said, I'm going to kill it, I'm going to absolutely smash it. But then two days later, well, I got my cold on Tuesday, had a session on Wednesday, and I just felt horrific. So um, it's it's amazing how things um, how quickly things can change in running, and that's why you gotta always keep an open mind. Um, but yeah, the last three miles all into a headwind, um, and if I'm honest, it's the first time in a race in ages where I just kind of lost all motivation. Just the headwind, running alone in the headwind, um, and I could see my splits just like completely dropping off because I couldn't put any effort in into the wind because it was horrific. I don't know what my now wins those were. But it was nowhere near as good as I thought it was going to be. Um, I mean, you're at the coast, so I don't know really what I expected. Um, but I was hoping for maybe like more of a side wind than a headwind. But yeah, it was it was awful. I think I ended up dropping like 350, 355k pace into the wind. Um, which is a good like 40, 50 seconds slower than I wanted to be. Um, so I guess that's just, that's just the way it works. But... I, saw, I looked at my watch with 2k to go and I knew I could PB if I wanted to, but I, if I'm honest, I just didn't care. Like, I just didn't want to, it just didn't seem like there was any, I know a PB is a PB and some people take a lot of, a lot of, a lot of weight on their PBs. Um, but I know the fitness level I'm in at the moment, I could destroy my PB on a good day. Um, absolutely like decimate it, take three minutes off or whatever. So taking five, ten seconds off just seemed a bit, pointless if that makes sense like i know it sounds really bad but that's just how i felt in the race i just kind of i'd lost interest almost um i was still going to fight for the place over the guy i still wanted to do the best i could from from like position wise um from that from that area of the race but at times it just kind of got out the window for me as soon as i as soon as i knew i wasn't running anything quick even even if i pb'd by five seconds i think i'd still feel exactly the same um i wasn't really fussed about a pb it was more I wanted to, to destroy my PB, and that's what I thought I was going to do, and that's maybe that's maybe where the problem is. So, the main thing I've learned from this is you need to go into every race open minded, no real goals with pace, and no real goals with place, especially when you don't know what the conditions are going to be like. Because as soon as we hit the wind on the uphill, I saw the times, and then as soon as the five guys went off by themselves, I was thinking about the place, and then all your confidence just shatters, and then it's 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 gone from there. So yeah, try and um, learn from my mistakes as well. Um, I thought I was a really seasoned runner. I didn't think I'd have something like this. Um, obviously, we all have bad days, but I didn't think um, it would be kind of like almost my fault. Um, and obviously, I know the illness isn't my fault, but kind of the lack of confidence from events happening in the race was my fault because I just had the wrong idea about it. Um, but yeah, guys, so I'm going to wrap up there. I've been talking for almost nine minutes. Oh, God, this is going to be a long vlog. I do apologise. Um, yeah, this is my sports massage room, if you haven't seen this before. Um, I just thought it'd be nice to just come and sit in front of the camera and just tell you how, how I felt about that race. Um, but definitely not beating myself up over it. I'm not going to sulk. I'm not going to 
kind of sit around and, and feel bad about it. That's just not me. I want to get my head up, think about my next training, think about my next run. Um, and I have been selected to represent Kent at the Intercounties in, in two weeks' time, which is which is brilliant news. First time ever. So um, really chuffed with that. And yeah, chin up into the next session. And um, yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for all the supportive messages and congratulatory messages. I really appreciate it. Um, as I said, I'm not upset about this. I'm not. I'm not overly overjoyed. Um, but yeah, quick shout out to Marshall Smith who came second. He absolutely killed it. Um, just got beaten by Ross Skelton, and Ross Skelton is a class class runner. He's run sixty three minutes for half, so there's no shame in that whatsoever. On a good day, I would have liked to have been up closer to him, not maybe beating him because. Pardon me, um, because Marshall is an insane half marathon runner on his day, and it'd take a, a lot for me to beat him. But yeah, he absolutely killed it, and um, he he worked so hard, and he completely deserves the success that he had today at the um, Brighton half marathon. So, thank you guys for tuning in. Um, number nine is clearly not my lucky number, so I'm going to go back to the big numbers now. I think um, going to request three hundred and sixty-two or something like that. So, yes, guys, thanks for tuning in. Please like, subscribe, and share with your running buddies. Three of you, and it means a lot to me. And I shall catch you in the next one. Peace.